Hello my fellow pipe smokers, I'm sure you're all pleased to know that I am doing a pipe smoking video after two book videos which didn't light the world on fire, which is okay, I'm okay with that, uh, just trying something different. I have other videos planned based off of an impulsive uh, buy that I might do, I don't know, I'm still debating about it, but some kind of a nostalgic kick, um, but anyway... That's not what today is about. Today is about what we're doing here is uh, Presbyterian, and I said that wrong, ordained today. Uh, that's what we're doing today. And this is a blend. I don't know where the blue tin is. I have it somewhere, but I got a million books in front of the place where I put my tobacco, and I'm not going to be able to get to it. So I couldn't get the tin for you. But usually you get the blue tin of this. This is ordained, and this comes in a flake, which looks amazing to be honest it looks really good i don't know if you guys can see that but it looks fantastic smells fantastic and you got the hay note i would say more hay than grass but there's a bit i didn't smell this earlier when i was smelling it this is a bit of um i don't want to say because it says citrus but i don't want to say citrus this is I don't know. It's an interesting smell. But anyway, and of course I'm smoking in my Peterson P-Lip pipe, uh, pub pipe, because long ago, N.W. Piper uh, did a review on Presbyterian, uh, the blue tin, and I had to try it because of that. And he had this pipe as well. And, well, I guess homage to him. Why not? And uh, not only that, the thing that I'm, the video that I'm thinking of doing in the future, which... I just kind of referenced doing something on a based on an impulse nostalgic buy. He might be the only one that might enjoy it out of my subscribers or watchers or whatever because uh, he's from California and it was kind of a big deal back in the day. But more on that another day. So I did the false light earlier. I had a few puffs. I can tell you, right out of the tin, this is burning very well. It's not too moist, not too uh, dry. It's right where it needs to be, to be honest. Plus, this is a fantastic pipe. The drawer on this is awesome. Worth the money. Now, I'm getting more of a, a hay note, a pretty strong one, actually, not, which is unusual for this kind of blend. Usually, I get more grass, but let's, uh, let's close up the tin here, and let's read what it says, if it says anything. Get the old magnifying glass out. Let's see. Um, matured bright Virginias, Virginia Flake, bouquet of natural flavors, bread and hay. Um, subtle citrus undertones of a uh, gentle uh, tart spice. I think that's tart. I don't know. The, the writing is smudged. Um, this is toasty. Eh, I'd say toasty. I, I never get the bread note, which I'm kind of annoyed about. I wish I could get that. I never get it. Maybe you guys are better with than me, but hmm. it's not bad. I don't think I'd get this again. Now, the Presbyterian, the original, I'll call it, the blue tin. Let's see. I'm just curious. I can't remember what the heck was in that one. Hold on. Let's, let's, uh, let's try and see what's in that. I can't remember off the top of my head. Let's see. All right, here we go. 
tobacco reviews if it will load up here here we go so mixture let's see just in case you need to know this is what I'm referencing the blue tin here um, so this is a lot of Kia Oriental Turkish Virginia uh, coarse cut just so everyone knows uh, the difference between the two that's all I want to know. But I, I would say that's better, and that's probably because there's Latakia, and I like Latakia, so Latakia, Latakia, I don't know, however you want to pronounce it. They're pretty good. Now, I don't want to jinx it, but technically, I got over 2K in subs now. I think at the time of this recording... I'm 2003. <laughs> um, now, of course, I could have a bunch of people unclick, and I might not have that at the time this post. So I don't know. But I'm not going to say anything officially yet until we get up a little bit more, and then I'll, I'll talk about that, which is phenomenal in my view for me. I will say I know the pipe smoking content is what got me there. <laughs> Not the book content, but I want to mix things up a little bit so you guys aren't too bored. and Or if you can't sleep one night and, you know, maybe the pipe smoking videos aren't doing for you, maybe the book video will do it for you. I don't know. We'll see. More hay. Still getting the hay More than anything. Now the smoke note is pretty good. It's not... I don't know what I would call that. I wouldn't call it hay, but... It's a pretty windy day here. Uh, in Rhode Island, so you may hear the wind, as I mentioned in my last video. I'm doing it on the same day, so I look the same as I did the other video that I just did. So, But it's windy. It's uh, As I said in that video, in case you guys didn't want to click on the, the book video, uh, it's warmer than what it looks like or what you perceive because the wind is blowing like crazy, snow blowing around. It snowed last night like a squall. Um, it looks cold, but when you get out, it's actually kind of warm until the wind kicks up naturally. But um, it's 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 uh, not too bad. If the wind wasn't around, you could ha actually have a good day, go for a walk, um, work out in the yard or something. It, it would have been nice, but, well, not that you could do much now in the yard, but you could start prepping. But spring is well on its way, I think. I was on one of my walks a few weeks ago, and it was kind of mild, and I happened to be walking, and I saw those little white dandelion things that fly around, and I'm like, well, that's way early. I don't know if they were really dandelion things, because where I was walking, there's a giant pond next to it, so I don't know if it was like uh, one of those aquatic flowers or, or something like that, and it was doing the same thing, it was shooting these shoots, um, and they were blown around. I'm like, yeah. And the birds have been much more active than they normally have. As a matter of fact, how I know we're going to have a, a early spring is because the robins never left here. They stayed around. They didn't even leave. <laughs> and interestingly enough, robins will do that if they have a good food sauce. They won't necessarily leave. So, fun fact for you. Hmm. I would say the smoke is a bit citrusy. The smoke note there. Um, but I'm getting a more hay, and I, I think that's kind of annoying me. The hay note. Like, usually it subsides, and you kind of get the grass hay kind of thing going, um, and you get a bit of the tangy, but... I, I don't know. This is, uh, it's not bad. It's got a nice little 
aftertaste, though. There's a little citrus in that one. Kind of like a an orange-ish kind of thing going for it. I got two tins of this, and that tin, the second tin, is going to be around <laughs> for a long, long time. Even this tin. I mean, I'll smoke this a handful more times, and I'll just pack it away for a while, but maybe try to tackle it later in the spring or even in the summer. I haven't done a second time around in a while, one of those videos where I go back and try a blend. Maybe I'll do one of those soon, because I haven't ordered any tobacco, so... This is probably my last tobacco review for a little while anyway, although I'll probably go peruse the internet, see if I can find one that catches my eye. I don't know if any blends are being, uh, like, coming out, like, new, not new blends, but, like, a release or something like that. I don't know if there's any coming of late that I can remember or think about at the moment. I know I missed the Cornell and Deal one with, uh, that blend that came out a few weeks ago. Shit happens, right? Can't get them all. See, so the smoke has now gone to a toasty kind of thing. The blend itself, getting more Virginia now. Like Virginia, I can't even talk. I'm curious what, what the jury in the comments section will be on this, if you guys have gotten this. Um, I haven't seen any other reviews on this. I know there's got to be some, because I think most people... I bought this a couple of weeks ago, so someone's got to beat me to the punch on doing a review. I'll have to check some of those out, see what, how they compare with mine. But I'm curious what you guys think of both of them, the rather, right, regular Presbyterian and, and the ordained one. Of course... N.W. Piper is also, I th believe he's a minister or, or something. He's involved in the church somehow. So it's very fitting that I smoke this pipe and try this and reference him as well. So hopefully he's doing well. I haven't seen him in a while online. I think I might have seen him on Instagram a few weeks back. I don't know. I could be wrong. I know he's a busy guy doing a bunch of things. Um, but I hope he does a video soon. Be nice to catch up and see him in a familiar face. I don't know, as, as content creators, pipe smokers lately, it seems like we go in spurts. Like even me, I've toned down my videos. I don't do as many as I, I have done. Most of that's due to winter, to be honest. And I don't want to be out here because I'm an old man and I don't want to freeze. <laughs> Although, it's very comfortable in this shed. Um, I make it pretty comfortable. I know I <laughs> am in horror. When it's actually, I prefer the cold over the heat in the summer. The summer, it is, this is just like, it's brutal in here. And I will figure that out somehow, some way. I will figure out putting an air conditioner in here or something. But the problem is, if I put an air conditioner in here, the noise of it's going to drive you crazy. Although, I have my electric fan, I mean, uh, electric heater going on here. And I don't know, does it really matter at the end of the day? Who the hell knows? I don't know. We'll, we'll try it. We'll see how that goes. But uh, it seems like we've all, like, Redcoats returns, kind of, he went off and did something noble, so he went off and did his thing for a while. I'm glad he's back. Uh, N.W. Piper, um, he's off living life, I guess. Uh, but it seems like we go in peaks and valleys. And that's not a bad thing, because, you know, this is for fun. It's not uh, made to take over your life, uh, so to speak. Keep it in perspective and in, in, in order and stuff. So, you know. I know there was a few times, even... 
on Tuesday when we had the snowstorm here and everything shut down. I was going to come out here and do this video, but um, I got exhausted from shoveling because I was too lazy to take the snowblower out, <laughs> which is sitting right there, which would have helped immensely uh, Tuesday afternoon. But then again, maybe not because it was a heavy, wet snow. So I just kind of just took my time and did everything. I came in here, chilled out for a little bit, and I said, nah, I'm going to go back inside read a book, and uh, that was the end of that. So sometimes it's okay to just walk away from a video if you do content, so. Of course, I learned that lesson when I was podcasting, and I was going 100 miles an hour uh, doing the Star Wars podcast, and that took a lot out of me. So I've chilled ever since then. I, I'm not, I don't stress and make this a crazy thing or whatever, but anyway. Enough about that. Let's get back to the blend. Now, the blend, if I was going to give it a rating, not that I like to do that, but I would say I'd give it a 2.9, which I'm, sadly, I'm, I'm doing that because I thought this would be around a, a higher mark. I'll just leave it at that. But, you know, sometimes a blend you get excited for, you get it, and it just doesn't hit, and then you get a blend that you didn't think anything of it, and... It's like one of the best things you had, which has happened in the last couple of months. Anyway, that's going to do it. I'm not going to go too, too long. Uh, I got two videos coming out today, so I'm, I had two videos come out today. I'm not going to beat the horse to death here today. It was a good blend. Not bad. I won't get it again. I am curious what you guys think of the blend and, and how... Uh, your thoughts on it. Uh, I'm really curious about that. For some reason, I'm pretty curious about what you guys think compared to me. Maybe you guys have better taste buds or something. I don't know. It was all right. Just wasn't anything to write home about. Anyway, that's going to do it. Take care. I'll see you guys on the next one.